Okay, today I'm going to be doing Add Code to Beginner Contest 153. So it's just a ceiling division. I think we just find the sum of all the n numbers and check if it's greater than or equal to h. Wait, I didn't look at the constraints. Okay, there won't be an integer overflow. T special move at most k times. So we should use the special move on monsters with the most health. So we just add, add up the first n minus 10 numbers. Okay, so I think we should keep track of how many copies of the monster we have. I think this is a dynamic programming. OK, 
Okay, so we have fish and then a b d p Means DPI is how many magic points we can decrease. The minimum uh, cost to decrease by I. Decrease the monster's health by AI at the cost of BI magic points. So that cost of okay, so then J plus B I H of this and this plus AI, which is the cost. Same spell can be cast multiple times, okay? Stuff. Oh, okay. Mess this up. Four hundred. Okay. Seems to be good. It's got AC. I think this is greedy. Okay, first I'll sort all the monsters by X. Okay, and I'll use two pointers. And I also need prefix sounds, so. of this is not uh, equal to x of curl one plus two times d okay 
glaube ich. Und dann something on the add Farms we need is the current health of the health of the monster. If I need to max this here, okay. The health of the monster minus the lines that we already have divided by D. You know, each one does A damage, okay? Plus A minus one to by A. Two. Five. Okay, this should be good. This got AC, so F is the only problem left. waiting to be judged. Okay, it's judging right. Okay, I see. That should, should be good. I think I'll be fourth. Yeah, I'm probably fourth. Okay. So for problem A, it's just you just um you divide the health by the damage per attack, and you take the ceiling. So you have this plus A minus one. Then for B, basically since you can only use each attack once, just sum up the damage for all attacks and check if that. Sum is greater than or equal to age. For C, uh, the problem basically states that we can we can change uh, the health of K monsters into zero. So we should choose the K monsters with the greatest health. So first you sort the monsters by their health, and then you only count the health of the monsters which are not the greatest k. For D basically you notice that you don't have to keep you only have to keep track of one monster at a time because the two monsters that appear they both have the same amount of health. So you can basically keep track of the count of the current number of monsters. So you just uh, simulate this process until it ends. And since the health divides by two each time, this process will end really fast. 
So C here means the count, the current count of the monsters. So while the health is still greater than zero, we attack each of the monsters. So we add C to the answer, and then the number of monsters uh, doubles, and the health is divided by two. And then for problem E, basically I use a dynamic programming, so dp of i means the minimum cost we need to, to decrease the monster's health by i. So then dph is the answer since the monster starts out with the health of h. And in order to calculate, calculate this dp, you basically just loop through all of the spells and for each spell you go through the dp array starting from 0 all the way up to h and then if we use this spell yeah, if the cur if currently if we already dealt j damage to the monster and then we use the current spell then we will add we'll deal b of i more damage to the monster so in total we'll do dp of j plus b of i damage and then our new state will be j plus a of i oh wait no okay, so if we already if we already dealt j damage to the monster and we use this spell then we will deal a of i more damage so our new state is j plus a of i and since we only care about dp of h we can we can simply take the minimum of this with h. And then the new cost for using the spell will be the cost that we already had to deal j damage to the monster, which is dp of j, plus the cost of this spell, which is b of i. And then for f, basically first you sort the monsters by their x coordinate, and then we go from left to right, um, and while there is a monster on the left which hasn't been killed yet, we'll try to we'll try to kill it while including as many monsters to the right as possible. So basically, a greedy algorithm. So the the i over here is means the index of the monster on the left, and I use two pointers to find the maximum monster on the right that I can still kill with i. So if the x coordinate of monster j is less than equal to the x coordinate of monster i plus 2 times d, that means that these two monsters can be killed together. So I increment j. And then here, I check the health of monster. So in order to subtract the health of all the monsters from the range i to j efficiently, we can use a prefix sum array, which is this array c. So basically what I do is c means the number of times that I drop a bomb and I and I basically drop the number of I basically drop the bombs in the range i to j. And then in order to calculate the number of bombs we need, we just look at the health of the monster and then we subtract the then we subtract the damage of the bombs that are have already been dropped, which is C of i times A. And we divide that by A and round up. So we plot so we add A minus 1 and divide by A. And then also we can't drop a negative number of bombs, so we have to take the max of this value with zero. And this is basically it for all of the problems. So I think I'm fourth. Yeah, I am. Okay.